Welcome back, shark fans. Today, we're learning about shark fins. So, get your fins on and let's get ready to learn about sharks. Today we're going to be learning about shark fins by learning a little bit more about great white shark anatomy and then right after that we're going to talk about why fins are so important, why they are important to sharks, but most importantly how we can help stop the fin trade. I'll talk more a little bit about that later, but first let's dive into some great white shark anatomy. Okay shark fans, check out this sweet diagram we have here to learn a little bit more about great white shark anatomy. Now pay real close attention to this because we're going to have a quiz on it later and you're going to have to name all the different body parts you see on your screen. Now get your parents permission because in the description below this video you'll be able to download this diagram and the one for the quiz so you can fill in your answers in a little bit. So again, ask your parents permission and print this out for your quiz later. So what we're going to do is we're going to start from the eye of the shark and we're going to work all the way around the shark in a clockwise fashion. So starting off, the great white shark has two eyes, one on either side of their head. And we'll actually get into an entire episode about shark eyes and vision very, very soon. Here's a good picture for you to take a look at a great white shark eye up close. Now one of the most iconic body parts of a great white shark is that dorsal fin. The dorsal fin, that's the large fin on top of the back of the great white shark. It helps stabilize the great white while it swims and it can also help the shark turn left or right. Now farther down the body we're gonna find the second dorsal fin which is a much smaller fin than the main dorsal fin. You'll see that here in this picture. Now the next part you may call a tail, but in fact this is called the caudal fin. This is the big crescent shaped fin that helps power and propel the shark through the water. Take a look at this video to watch that caudal fin power the shark through the water. On the underside of the shark, you will see one anal fin and two pelvic fins. The pelvic fins can help create lift, steer, and help the shark slow down. Take a look as we zoom in a little bit on the anal fin and the pelvic fins on a great white shark. The next fins we have are the pectoral fins. There are two pectoral fins located on each side of the shark. And those fins help the shark go up, go down, steer, and stabilize their position while they swim in the water column. Moving on from the fins, we're now moving to the gill slits. Great white sharks have five gill slits, and that is how the shark can breathe underwater. We will do a full episode on gills and breathing underwater, so stay tuned for a full episode on that. Here's an up close shot of a great white shark in the five gill slits we just talked about. The last but not least is the mouth, or as some people like to call it, the jaws of the shark. Great whites have multiple rows of teeth that can get replaced when they fall out. I think the tooth fairy would go out of business if she tried to visit great white sharks. All right, y'all, now it is time for that quiz. So I hope you were paying really close attention. And again, get your parents' permission and go down into the description below this video and you should see a link that will allow you to download and print off our quiz. Now, if you are not able to download and print the quiz, no worries, just pull out a pen and paper and get ready to number and answer each body part that's going to be on your screen. Alright, this is your 
last chance to study that sheet. So I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to try and memorize all those body parts. Ready? And you're on the clock. Three, two, one, and we are gonna start the quiz. Now pause the video if you need a little bit extra time, but here's the quiz and let's test your knowledge of great white shark anatomy. Five, four, three, two, one, and pencils down. Let's check those answers. Let's see how you did. Did you get them all right? More importantly, did you learn something? My goal was for you to really learn a little bit more about the great white shark and about fins in general. Great work, shark fans. You did awesome on that quiz and you learned a lot about great white shark anatomy. Now let's dive into fins a little bit more here. Specifically, I wanna talk about the fin trade and stopping the fin trade. You see, millions and millions of sharks every year are killed and a lot of them are killed just for their fins. Those fins are used for different food products like shark fin soup, or they're even put in with low-grade fish meat. And I bring this up not just to talk about shark fin soup, because that's where most everybody goes in their mind when they hear about shark finning, but when those fins are put into that low-grade fish meat, you might eat that meat. And you understand that that can be toxic to you. It's not that shark meat is toxic itself, it's that a lot of shark meat and those high top level predators at the top of the food chain have toxins in their bodies like mercury. You see, those toxins bioaccumulate and that means when you look at the food chain from the tiniest little fish at the bottom, when they get the toxin in their body and another fish eats them, it transfers to that next animal and then another animal eats that fish, and then maybe a sea lion eats that fish, and then a great white shark eats that sea lion, and at the top of the food chain, all of that mercury and all of those toxins are building up inside of that shark. And that is toxic to me and you. So yes, we want to stop the fin trade because of shark fin soup, but another thing I want you to know is that it can be dangerous and toxic to you if you're eating shark meat. So I hope you learned something new about eating sharks and that it can be toxic to humans if we ingest mercury or other toxins that move up and bioaccumulate in the food chain. Now I've partnered with Shark Allies. We've talked about this group before they are awesome and they have a huge campaign going on right now called Stop the Fin Trade. And I love the name because it's straightforward. The goal is we are going to stop the fin trade. We want to pass laws. We want to save the sharks. We want to make finning illegal. Now, you can be a part of this. You can be a part of Shark Allies. With your parents' permission, I want you to check out sharkallies.com and I want you to look at their different campaigns they have listed on their website but the one that we're really focusing in on today is stop the fin trade that's the big one and that's what we can do to help save our sharks and again that's my main goal with making these videos is I want to help shark conservation I want to help save the sharks and one way we do that is we stop the fin trade. We get laws that are passed and make it illegal to be in the fin trade and to cut off the fins of sharks. Sharks need those fins. We don't need them. In fact, if we cut the fins off of sharks, they're going to die. I know it's a very serious discussion, but it has to happen because we need to save the sharks so you can get involved. Go on that website with your parents' permission and let's stop the fin trade.
Well, that's all that we have for today. Today we covered Great White Shark Anatomy. You aced a quiz and learned more about that Great White Anatomy. And then we dove into fins, talked about the importance of fins, what fins do on the sharks. And then the most important thing, we talked about stop the fin trade. So if you really enjoy what you're watching here, you want to see some more sweet shark pictures, you can find me on Instagram at SharkBitesMatt. Shoot me an email. Let's talk sharks, guys. Matt at learnaboutsharks.com and check out my website to learn about my book and to connect with me further. It's learnaboutsharks.com. Thanks so much for watching and remember, save the sharks.